Good evening, everybody. If you'll go ahead and stand with us tonight as we enter into worship with our great King, because He's here. So let's worship Him tonight.
said you are mine The enemy thought he had me But Jesus said you are mine The enemy thought he had me But Jesus said you are mine The enemy thought he had me But Jesus said you are mine
God, all we are, we give you push. Our hearts are yours. ourselves to you tonight and we thank you father that you're going to fill us we will not leave disappointed when we are in your presence oh we bless your name in jesus name amen amen god bless y'all boy i could just y'all could just stay up here and keep playing that's just so good they're like, no, we're done. We've been here since five o'clock and we're done. <laughs> God bless y'all. Thank you. All right. If you don't have one of our prayer point papers, raise your hand. The ushers will see that you, Reuben, if you'll see that everybody gets one right quick. We have a few hands that are up right here on the front row over in the far corner. Keep your hands up and they will bring you prayer points. We um, need you to be able to follow along with us tonight as we pray. You're like, wait a minute, y'all do that on Sunday night. Listen, we can't get enough prayer. It's time for the church to arise and pray. Amen. Amen. After they pass out the papers, these trusty ushers are going to give you an envelope in order to give to the Lord. I was talking to my sweet little niece yesterday. I think she's about 25. She has three sweet little girls sold out to Jesus. Her name is Sydney. She is sold out to him. And uh, she was talking about the goodness of God that they have found in paying tithes. 
she married a little Church of Christ guy that had no clue what that was. She has convinced him. He told her the other day, he said, I'm scared not to pay tithes. <laughs> In the last four years, God has quadrupled their income. And it's just, God is blessing them. She was telling me what the, they raise pigs and some guy bought them. $60,000 pigs that had 17 babies. I'm like, oh, that's nasty. She's like, no, it's called money. <laughs> and God has blessed them abundantly. And they tell everybody about the goodness of God. So you can't outgive him. He's you know, your, your tithe is what you owe to the Lord. If you're not paying tithe, at least 10% on what you get, listen, you're, you're not going to prosper. The way you prosper is to give that tithe. We owe that to him. I asked him today, I said, yeah, wow, I didn't give this little guy much. Uh, as a tip when we ate, and he said, hey, it's double what we give Jesus. We gave him 20%. <laughs> God only asked for 10. But it's the offerings that are above your tithe where the windows of heaven just get flung open wide. And God just blesses your socks off. So, that ought to encourage everybody to put something in the bucket tonight. Just to see what God will do. He's a good God. Father, <laughs> you're so good to us. You are such a good Father. And we thank you for the provision that you give to us. We thank you. And we know that as we give tonight, Lord, you're going to multiply it back to us. Because that's what you promised you would do. And you're a man of your word. And we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to welcome those that are watching online. We ask you to share the broadcast. That doubles our viewership when you do that. So um, share that broadcast. Amen. We want to let you know that if couples, if you want to go on a date night Friday night, you bring your kids to us. We'll take care of them. Uh, I think it's from 6.30 to 8.30. And uh, they're going to have a back-to-school bash right here in the sanctuary. I am telling you, they have got prizes planned. They have jump houses. They've got giveaways, backpacks. So bring those babies to us, and we'll take care of them on Friday night. And you can go out to dinner. Yeah. Eric, take Carolina to dinner Friday night. Bring all 50 of your children. No, really, he just has like five. <laughs> Seven. That's a quiver full. Amen. All right, tonight we are going to, uh, I'm going to show you a, a video clip here in a minute. Um, it's a prophetic word by Tim Sheets that he just gave about a week ago in Washington, D.C. And, you know, the times that we're living in, you need to pay attention to the prophets. Amos 3, 7 says, Indeed, the sovereign Lord never does anything until he reveals his plans to his servants, the prophets. It's important that we listen to the prophets. Tim Sheets is declaring tonight that between now and November, that the powerful kingdom of God will advance in the nation and beyond. And so uh, I took his prophetic word, I'm going to play it for you, and I took his prophetic word and I typed it out for you kind of in prayer points. And we're going to pray all of these prayer points tonight. 
John 8, 32 says, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. We need a revival of truth in the United States of America. The sons and daughters of God are deceived and blinded. The Bible says the God of this world, which is Satan, has them blinded lest they see the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. God is after those sons and daughters that are deceived and that are living in sin. And he's going to send a revival of truth that's going to open their eyes. And once their eyes are opened, the Bible says they will be set free. Now, let me tell you something. God cannot save everyone. There are people that have hardened their hearts so hard and perverted God's word and refused to turn from their sin. And they, even, even when they say, see the truth, their hearts are so hard. But let me tell you, there are precious sons and daughters that are deceived by sin. And when they see the truth, their eyes will be opened and the prodigals are going to come home. That's what we're going to declare tonight in the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to uh, watch this. It's only like 11 or 12 minutes, but it's a prophetic word that God gave him that is going to happen between now and November. Hello, everyone. We are in Washington, D.C., and we are in where the war memorials are, looking back towards the Washington Monument. And I'm here to read another prophetic word that I feel like the Lord once resounded from this spot. And uh, we're declaring that the powerful kingdom of God is going to advance. And the warfare that we are called to, especially through the midterm elections, will be engaged and we're going to win. Hear the word of the Lord. I will move through my ecclesias and I will move through my triumphant remnant in sudden, energetic, concerted efforts to accomplish the wisdom plans for this season. I will lead my remnant warriors implementing lightning, lightning warfare. I will lead you to strike like lightning. My kingdom will now move rapidly with overwhelming force. Rapid strikes will break through enemy defenses, disorienting and dislocating them. Swift victories will be seen. I will call you to sudden advances that will throw hell's kingdom out of balance, interrupting their plans and resulting in quick defeats. My ecclesias will suddenly invade enemy positions, causing the disruption and the scattering of systems of evil Multiple surprise moves will now be implemented in regions, in territories, in nations, and in this city, Washington, D.C., as my ecclesia emboldens its stand. Hell will not see it coming, says the Lord. Their arrogance has them blind. And yes, their human partners will also not see it coming. Their arrogance, self-righteousness, pride, and filth justification has them blind. The Lord says swift strategic maneuvers are activating through my ecclesia to scatter lewd pollutions of my identity. Lewd lewd pollutions of my identity for male and for female. 
the demonic prince of perversion, promoting doctrines of transgender, will be struck suddenly, repeatedly, and boldly by my powerful advancing kingdom and by my angel armies. Truth will be their shield and their buckler. Just as surely as Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed for perverting my identity for men and women, so will the demonic, the demon doctrines of blind leaders of the blind now be shattered. Original intent, says the Lord. Original intent, says the Lord. Original identity and order will be proclaimed, says the Lord. A rapid strike, a sudden energetic concerted effort will now push for me and push for my ways. Boardrooms will change. Corporate leaders will change or they will be changed. Government leaders will change or they will be changed. Corporate identities will change. A sudden strike led by unique leaders that I have ordained for the cause are now advancing into positions of great authority. My ecclesia's voice is rising to sound out my words. Angels are activating to tear down the strongholds of evil that are polluting the coming generations. My enemies, the enemies of my heirs, will now become unbalanced and they will be unnerved. They will stagger at the blitzkrieg of truth and of righteousness that is now accelerating and swift victories will now be seen. Swift turnarounds will be seen for I have great harvest in those who have been misled and confused by demon-occupied minds. My truth will free them. My truth will reorder real identity, real meaning, real purpose will rise in them, for my love is set upon them. I will free multitudes from the lies. I have sons and daughters trapped in the confusion and I will now redeem them. I have prodigal sons and daughters to free. I have champions whose identity I will restore. I am moving to change battlefronts, activating and overwhelming my power to bring about forceful change. I will disorient the confusers I will now dislocate the positioning of the spreaders of perversion. Their influence will fade and their voice will fester in their evil infections. The Lord says, I have targeted kingpins of great influence who as Pharaoh of old have hardened their hearts against me. My ecclesia, assisted by angel armies, will target them to remove their influence and release leaders who have not resisted my ways. For the blitz push of my ecclesia includes concerted, fast-moving efforts to remove the influence of evil kingpins. The Lord of hosts declares, the warfare for earth will now intensify. But you will experience swift turnarounds as you release my authority into your regions, your states, and your nation. Lightning warfare, quick strikes, rapid response against evil that once enjoyed passivity stupor will now surely feel the blitzkrieg. The world will now see a different church. 
a ruling and reigning with me church, a church that strikes hell's, aggre hell's aggression with their own aggression and lightning strike speed. They will change the culture. When culture pushes them, my ecclesia will now push back. When government pushes, my ecclesia will now push back. When big tech pushes, they will push back. When education pushes, they will push back. You are living in a historic moment, a hinge moment, and the Blitzkrieg will now forcefully push against the adversary and strike it with my power. Lord, we decree today as your ecclesia, the Blitzkrieg that you have prophesied begin pushing back against evil, pushing back. Let, let the blitz push of the kingdom of God go forth now into this city, into all of our cities, and push back against hell. We pray, God, that even as we have seen in, in our history in natural wars, times of blitzkrieg, when the battle was fierce, the battle was hot. But our, our warriors made their stand. So we are moving into another moment where a sp spiritual kingdom, the kingdom of the living God, is now rising up in its moment. And the blitzkrieg of the kingdom of God is going to go forth. And it's going to rapidly begin to strike the agendas of hell strike the powers of darkness dislocating them binding them destroying them and loosing the freedom the kingdom of God provides we declare yes we have prodigal sons and daughters that you will now bring home you will restore them those that have bought into the confusion confusion that hell has been promoting they will now find their true identity and be restored they will become warriors of God sons and daughters heirs with full rights we declare this in the name of Jesus Christ the King amen bless you thank you for praying with me keep decreeing this word of the Lord it's time for the blitz of the kingdom of God. Amen. Man. So what do you do when you hear a prophetic word? You pray into it. And this is a call for the church to pray. We've been given an assignment to pray. That's the reason I... I Type this up so you can take it home and continue to pray. Uh, if you do not have a paper, if you guys will raise your hand uh, right here, uh, Robert. We have a couple of more that do not have a paper. Take this home. Don't let this be the last time you pray. We're going to pray into this, and we're going to push it through. I know that the enemy doesn't want us to pray. Because two of the people that had the assignments to pray tonight called today and said, we're sick. He doesn't want us to pray. He'll do anything he can do to stop us from praying. But we are going to show him that we're going to pray. Now, I'm going to ask you tonight to stand with me. If, if you get, you know, too tired uh, you are welcome to sit down. But I, I don't want to be standing up here praying by myself. I want to hear you pray. So stand with me tonight. And we're going to begin praying. And the first thing that we're going to pray is divine strategies. When you have a battle plan, you have to have some strategies of what it is that we need to be doing. So as you hear me pray about a certain thing, will you begin to pray into that? And we're going to uh, pray what the prophetic word was. So tonight, 
what I want us to do first is to just lift our hands and praise the Lord that he's given us. He has given us a prophetic word that we know where to go. Father, we thank you that we know what to do now. You have given us instructions, and now we're going to follow those instructions. And Lord, we're here tonight as Spring First Church praying into this prophetic word and declaring that these things shall come to pass. Father, we thank you that Job 22, 28 says, you will declare a thing and it will be established for you so light will shine in your ways. So Father, we bless you tonight and praise you for these instructions. So tonight, Father, as we gather together as Spring First Church, our our desire is to push through God's divine plan. Tell him tonight, Lord, I'm here and I'm here to help push through your plan. He's got the divine plan. And Father, we are here as your children tonight to push through what you have planned, to see it through to victory. We know, Father, that you are going to begin to move. Come on, tell him. Thank him that he's got a plan and that he revealed it to us and that we now know how to pray. Father, and we thank you. Come on, let's tell him. Lord, we thank you. It's going to be with lightning speed. Lord, this is going to be a quick work. You're going to start it and we're going to see it. And then we're really going to begin to praise you for the lightning speed, the overwhelming force of power. God, we praise you. Thank him that he has a power that's overwhelming, that will overwhelm the spirits of darkness. Father, we praise you that you are all powerful. There is none like you. You are great, a great God that will overwhelm the spirits of darkness. With lightning speed, Father, we anticipate to be able to see a move of God quickly. Lord, it's been prophesied between now and November. God, we declare every door to be open, every door to be open in heaven's portal. Father, that will release the lightning speed of a revival of truth. Father, we pray you would send more workers. Come on, pray he'll send more people to pray. God, we pray that people will even see this video online and they'll join us and start praying. Lord, we know there's people praying all around the world, but Lord, we're asking you to send more people. Come on, ask him to, to wake people up, wake the church up. The church needs to be awake. Lord, we pray that you, were, you will build us up to do your work. Father, you'd give us strength to pray more. You'd give us time that we can set aside. Lord, you're able to order our day that we can set aside time every day to push through this truth of revival. Lord, ask him to align you with his plan. Father, you've told us what you're going to do. Would you align us with your plan? God, we want to be in your army and we want to be in line and we want to be where the action is. This church, Father, wants to be in on the victory of revival that you're going to send. When you send lightning strikes that destroys the work of the enemy. God, reveal strategies to us. We're your servants. Lord, reveal to us. Come on, ask him. God, give me revelation of what I need to pray. Give me revelation of what I need to do in the areas around me, where I work. God, give me strategies, reveal truth to me. Lord, ask him to prepare the hearts of the people, to prepare the hearts of the people to be saved around the world. God, we ask the Holy Spirit right now, even tonight, to go into the hearts of people and Lord, that you would help them to begin to see the truth. Lord, show us then how to discipline, uh, to disciple them. God, we need workers that will disciple the souls that are going to be saved. Lord, we thank you that Spring First Church is going to be full of people that have come recently to see the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And that you are raising up teachers and leaders that will disciple these new Christians of how to live a life. Lord, when this rapid, rapid strike comes, let's pray right now that God will break every one of Satan's defenses. 
Father, we pray that Satan and his demons will be disoriented. They'll be dislocated. Their evil forces that has blinded men and women of God to the truth. Lord, hit Satan's targets with lightning force. We ask for lightning from heaven. Lord, you sent a lightning show today for us. A thunder show and Lord we know that it's nothing compared to what you're gonna you're getting ready to send father that you would dismantle the defenses of Satan that you would shut down his influences everywhere he has influence God shut it down use us to help shut it down Lord confuse the enemy come on pray God will confuse the enemy that he would bind them He would confuse them. He would dislocate their evil forces. And Lord, they would even start fighting against each other. Lord, let demonic spirits start fighting against each other. And Lord, when they do, it's going to bring such disillusion to those that are blinded. Father, we pray for lightning strikes against the forces of the enemy. God, open the eyes of your children that are blinded. Come on, pray for those that are blinded in sin today. God, send a revival of truth that will set them free. Come on, let's curse those blinders that are on their eyes right now. God, those, the people, your children that are blinded from the truth and cannot see the light. We curse those blinders. We come against every blind spirit that would capture and control any of your sons and daughters. God, we declare they shall see the light and they shall be saved. Come on, let's declare. Lord, we praise you that your children shall see the light. Those blinders are falling off. The enemy is confused. And Father, we praise you they shall be saved. That they will begin to flow into houses of worship. And they will find God. And Lord, help us to go into the hedges and highways and pull them in. To pull them in. Father, we declare. Let's declare a rapid victory. A rapid victory. That literally throws hell's king kingdom of lies and deceptions into chaos that the the lies that blinds people to the truth god interrupt come on pray that god will interrupt the plans of hell that satan will be caught off guard and lord it will result in a quick victory that the church will suddenly invade hell's positions lord ask him to help us to be ready Lord, let us be ready when this lightning strike comes that the church will be ready to move into those positions that have been held by hell and and the enemies of righteousness. God, we'll be ready to move into those positions causing disruption and destroying the systems of evil in the world. God, show your power with rapid victories. Come on, pray that he'll astound the enemy. <laughs> that the, that the, the devil will be so astounded and his demons will scatter. The ones that he thought would be so faithful to him will scatter. Hallelujah. Can't you just see lightning hitting all of the demons of hell and they're just all scattering? Lord, praise him for that. Lord, we praise you. You are going to scatter the enemy. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Mother, we pray that you will throw hell's kingdom of lies in into the pits of hell. God, that you would throw the enemy. You would throw him asunder. And Lord, that there will be a revival of truth. God, destroy the lies and expose them. Come on, pray that he will expose lies that that people are believing. God, that you would expose the lies. They would be able to see the truth of the Word of God. God, they would come back to their senses and they would see that there is a God in heaven that loves them and that He's come to get them and to set them free. Lord, send a revival of light, of truth, of the Word of God. Lord, we know you can write the Scripture in the heavens 
for the entire world to read if that's what you want to do. Come on, let's pray. God, however you want to do it. We're going to look for signs and wonders. Lord, we're going to be even amazed at, at, at the things that you are going to do to reveal truth. God, a spirit of truth to be upon this nation. God, we declare that this that your strength will overpower the forces of, of evil. God, that you'll anoint us. Come on, ask him for an anointing. That you'll be able to detect a spirit and you'll be able to curse it and kill it in its tracks in the name of Jesus. God, anoint us to be able to see through what the enemy is doing, that we would be able to ourselves interrupt hell's plans and see quick victories. Lord, anoint us to invade hell's position. God, help us to be ready to invade hell's position, to take the place of what the enemy has done and to be able to speak the truth. Anoint us to disrupt and to destroy the evil systems of Satan and his demons. God, anoint us. Come on, ask for a special anointing. God, open our eyes that we will be able to see what the enemy is doing and to be able to move in and take its place. Father, we declare that God's surprise move will take place in regions in America and around the world. Come on, let's pray that this will spread around the world. This surprise will overtake every demonic spirit. Let's pray for a truth revival around the world. God, that people's eyes will be so suddenly opened that they'll be running to the church. And Lord, we thank you that we're going to be ready. We're going to be ready to take the place. And Lord, as we pray and stand against hell's positions, God, make us bold. Come on, ask God for a boldness. That we will be bold enough to stand up against the enemy. We'll be bold enough to say, uh, that's where the enemy was. I'm going to take his place. I'm standing right in where the enemy was. Because, Lord, it'll even surprise us how bold we will be. Come on, ask him for boldness. Lord, we pray that you would blind hell and Satan and his earthly counterparts to your great surprise that's coming. Lord, that hell will not, it will be caught off guard. They will not know what to do. They will not be organized. Lord, they will be so confused. They will fight each other. We pray that you will send lightning strikes of your mighty power. Lord, crush arrogance and pride. Come on, let's pray against arrogance and pride. Lord, people are puffed up with arrogance, thinking that they are going to win and that they already have the upper hand. Father, we declare by the power of the name of Jesus that every stronghold will be broken and that, that arrogance and pride will be broken. Father, we curse self-righteousness. Come on, let's curse self-righteousness. People that think they're so right. Oh God, open their eyes to the truth. Father, those that have justification for their sin and their perversion, God, open their eyes. Help them to see the truth. We curse self-righteousness. Father, a, a, a man's evil plan to justify sin, when they justify, they say, oh no, God doesn't see us. Lord, open their eyes that they will see that God does see. Expose their sin. To them so that the whole world will see that it's destruction. Come on, let's pray for a spirit of revival of righteousness to cover the earth. Lord, let your righteousness rise. Let it be seen from every church. Let it be seen from every Christian that calls on the name of the Lord. Let God anoint us to be righteous before the world, that they will see them, even the mighty power that is working through us. Now let's pray. Let's pray that God will save billions. God, we're not asking for millions. We're asking for billions of souls. Billions of souls to be saved as they begin to see the truth. Lord, billions of souls to be saved. Father, we declare this in the powerful name of Jesus.
for it to be done. Now, I want you to just praise him for about a minute. Diane's going to come and she's going to lead the revival of righteousness. Pray with her that a revival of righteousness will cover this earth. Amen. We declare, Father, that the demonic perversion promoting doctrines of transgender homosexuality activity, that it be struck suddenly, repeatedly, so that many brought into this lifestyle can be rescued and restored. Their hearts melted and opened to hear and know truth, Father, the blinders be lifted. God's declaration of male and female is Genesis 1 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. He created them. God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper that will be fit for him. So he created a woman for man. Now that's God's word. That's not our belief. That's God's belief system. I declare and decree that this perversion of transgender and homosexuality and lesbianism will be destroyed because the anointing breaks the yoke. That's what we're doing tonight. The anointing that will break the yoke. Isaiah 61, 1 says in it that we are to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. They shall be set free to pursue God's original plan for their lives and live under blessings and not curses. Romans 1, 26 and 27, more word. There's much word on this subject. Says, God gave them up to dishonorable passions. For their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And the man likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their arrow. Somehow this world has, has read that and said, that does not pertain. That is not for today. That is that deception we're coming against tonight. We agree now that many will come to their senses, repent and made free in Jesus name. Government leaders promoting abortion still. They're still promoting it. And all forms of evil on schools, the young, the vulnerable, will have to repent or be removed, and they shall be, quickly. Pushing for the removal of our constitutional rights, siding with our enemies, bringing untold debt, corruption, lies to promote their evil agenda, they shall be removed and replaced with men and women that God has authorized authority to do so. Lastly, a revival of righteousness shall come to our government and nation. Evil shall not prevail. When the evil rule, the people mourn. Does that not sound familiar? God's word. Proverbs 14, 34 says, righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. We have been reproached, people. Are we going to stand by and continue to let ourselves be reproached? I don't think so. That's what this is about. And let me tell you, there's many all over this nation that's doing what we're doing. Yeah. Lastly, I want to listen to this last scripture. Psalm 125 verse 3. For the scepter, you know what that represents. For the scepter of wicked, wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous stretch out their hands to do wrong. You know what that says to me? Righteousness will promote, uh, wickedness will promote wickedness in God's people. Yeah. 
If it's gone unchecked and not brought under and, and cast down and righteousness does not prevail, this says the righteous hands will be put to the wickedness as well. Serious stuff. Uh, Miss Lydia, next step. Okay, I get to pray, let the church arise. That's us. That is us, and we are arising. The fun thing about it is our hearts are already hungry. We are seeking his face more and more and more. And you can just feel our Saturday, our, our Sunday morning service is just getting so impactful. Our Sunday night prayer is just on fire. So, we are going to declare the church's voice is rising to sound out God's word. And angels are activating, ready to tear down the stronghold of evil that is polluting the coming generation. Many of us have little children and teenage children. And then they're going to have children. So, we are going to stand believing lord we believe trust and know that you are going to take care of our families that you already have the angels being put in front of them to protect them that he has a plan for their salvation and no matter what is in the schools at this point in time that is not going to be anymore their eyes are going to be opened in fact I declare that if they decide they're going to teach something that is not biblical, the teaching will be found. It'll just disappear and they'll have to go to history or something of that nature that is of God. We declare swift victories. We've talked about swift victories, swift things victories and turnarounds that we will actually see it that it's already happening right now in our families i believe that my children and grandchildren are feeling our prayers right now i know that they are on fire and something is happening in them that they don't even understand i have chills that we call the church to arise so second chronicle seven fourteen. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Now we have, we're just standing in agreement that our families will as well. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. He hears us. He sees our tears. He sees our broken hearts. And Lord, I thank you that you hear us. I thank you that you know our hearts and know when we're broken. But we again stand and declare that you are the God that will take care of every situation all the way down up from the president all the way down to the newborn babe today, that our churches will declare a voice that your word is true. We thank you, Jesus, that you paid such a steep price for our salvation. And just like the songwriter said, there is none like you, none like you, Lord. And we give you glory and honor for what you're doing in, in us, and as we declare over our families and our nation, our cities, our leadership, that they are already feeling the passion of our prayer. They may not know it, but it is there. We declare a spirit of repentance for the sin of abortion will be heard from God's people. A spirit of repentance for sin of the flesh that has crippled God's people. Oh, I can't even begin to tell you the guilt and the shame that comes with an abortion. It's hurtful, and I honestly believe that those that are exposed to that don't realize the impact of this action. Now, we have government coming behind us, answering the Lord's answering our prayer and our cry, but we need to pray for those that have already gone through something like this, that they will understand that there is forgiveness, that they don't have to feel the pain, Lord, of guilt and shame, that you are touching their little hearts right now and know that there is repentance for those that are actually involved in this kind of action, that they will feel 
the prayers again, Lord. We are banking on this and know that you are taking care of them, that there is salvation for them, that they can stand victorious and be able to witness to others that there is freedom from this. So Lord, we thank you that you're working in them and that this will be a part of our daily devotion, that we, we, we speak on their behalf and pray for them with every ounce of our being because these are hurting people. And we pray for the people involved as we said, they need you, they need salvation. Uh, let's see here. Isaiah 25, 11 says, and he will spread out his hands in their midst as a swimmer reaches out to swim and he will bring down their pride. We prayed about our, our pride and humility and that we will just be humbled in our church and we will have a unity amongst us that there won't be any grumbling in our church and we can be united to go out and reach those that need you. We're going to go out to the highways and the, the hedges and the highways and we're going to go prayed up and filled up ready to spread your word and bring them in, love them and disciple them. Oh Jesus, Psalms 85, 6 says, will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Yes. And we are going to be able to love on the people that are coming in. We will be able to show them, show them this is love. Psalms 80:18. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us and we will call on your name. Hosea 6:2. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will restore us that we may live in his presence. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. We believe in victory. Victory in the church, in the name of Jesus. In the name of, just raise your hands. Let's praise him for victory. Victory over everything that has been prayed about in the name of Jesus. Victory in Jesus' name. Shout with a voice of triumph. Shout with a voice of triumph. A voice of praise in the name of Jesus. Father, we, we, we shout with triumph. We shout with praise because we agree that these things are done. As it's been declared in Job 22, 28, in the name of Jesus, we declare things and they be established and we walk therein in Jesus' name. Father, we shout for the victory. We declare victory over these things in Jesus' name. We declare a mighty and powerful lightning strike across the world in the name of Jesus as the gospel is being preached. As you said in Matthew 24, 14, that this gospel, the kingdom shall be preached to all the nations, to all the world for a witness and then shall the end come. Father, we thank you for a, 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 a rapidness, a lightning strike of your gospel in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for laborers that are going forth everywhere in every part of the world in the name of Jesus. Let the children of God arise as it says in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1, arise, shine for your glory has, co has come and the glory of the Lord for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold darkness shall cover the earth and that's why we go into this world into these ends of the world so that we can show the light of the glory of God in the name of Jesus. As you said in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 that you shall receive power. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. I thank you that you are empowering, empowering for victory in Jesus name. Empowering so that people will hear the gospel and the words that they speak will not be man's wisdom but there will be demonstrations of the power of God. They will see miracles. They will see wonders. They will see signs in Jesus name. You're doing the miraculous. You're doing everything and giving us the victory as we declare it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare the name of Jesus over every household. Over every household in the house of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. That they will be protected. That they will share victories 
victories in their families, victories over sickness and disease, victories over, over all the immoral stuff in the world that it will not come near their dwellings in the name of Jesus. Victory over sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. Protection over accidents, protection over all these other things that are being pushed down on children in schools in Jesus' name. Father, as you said in Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse, verse 10, that see, I have put you this day to pull down, to bring down, to throw down, to build and to plant. Father, we take down those those uh, principalities, those thoughts, those thoughts of immoral things that are being taught in the schools. We bind a strong man in the name of Jesus. You say whatever you bind, I will bind. Whatever you lose, it will be loosened. In the name of Jesus, we bind the strong man of the wrong mindsets, of the wrong principalities. In the name of Jesus, the spirits of influence. In the name of Jesus, we come against them. We tear them down. We bring them down in Jesus' name. And we speak righteousness. We speak holiness. We speak goodness, mercy, love in Jesus' name. The love of God that passes understanding in the name of Jesus. We declare victory. We declare victory over our children. We declare victory over our leaders. We declare victory over every every single thing that concerns us in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, we declare a sudden strike from heaven that will bring God's, God's uh, salvations over the church. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your glorious plan of salvation. We thank you for your glorious plan of salvation that it goes everywhere that we go. In Jesus' name, that we walk in this victory. Father, in the name of Jesus, consuming fire, consume us, Lord, that all impurities are gone, that all impurities are gone, that we are driven by the things that drive you, the things that cause the love of God that caused Jesus to die on the cross for his friends, for us in Jesus' name, that we will go. We will go and speak. We will be compelled to go and speak without fear. We will go and speak in Jesus' name. We will take territories. We will take territories right now in Jesus' name, in victory, in Jesus' name. And we will let the light shine. Let our light shine in glory, in Jesus' name, that they will see, they will see and say, behold, what God has done. Behold what God has done and it will be undeniable in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we give you all the praise, all the glory. Let it be so in Jesus' name. Name. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you praise. We give you praise. We shout with with a voice of triumph. We shout with a voice of praise. We rejoice in you, Lord, for the victory. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Romo we give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise, the God of miracles, the God of wonder, the God of victory. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for his mercies and yours forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for your mercies and yours forever. Praise the Lord. Glory. Glory. We give you praise. We give you praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. We give you praise for the victory. We give you praise for the victory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Rose And so, what did the Lord tell the children of Israel to do before the walls of Jericho fell down? He told them to shout. So, let's give a shout of praise. Woo! Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah. He has heard us. We have done some damage to the kingdom of hell. I want to read one more prophetic word, and then I'm going to let you go. This is Charlie Champ. I don't know if you follow him. He said, I decree the enhancement of your spiritual senses in Christ-centered spirituality from this day forward. As God stirred up the eagles in the nest to thrust them out, those called to soar higher heights. I speak a stirring in your spirit to reach for higher dimensions for your destiny. Today, you will receive an impartation of supernatural hunger to do greater exploits in the kingdom of God. I prophesy that you will never be grounded from your prophetic journey by demonic entrapments or snares of the wicked one in Jesus' mighty name. The eagle anointing. Come on, say, Lord, thank you for the eagle anointing. I'm only going higher and higher in the name of Jesus. The eagle anointing will come upon you now. And I prophesy that even the sky will not be your limit. <laughs> Hallelujah. I decree you will break every natural barrier in the days of head and every form of weakness and satanic sickness will be destroyed by God's anointing. The power to accelerate to new heights is imparted into your life this day in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fail to achieve everything that heaven has designed for you to receive. Now, if you receive that tonight, lift your hands and say, God, I receive. I receive an eagle's anointing. I declare I will accomplish everything that you designed me to do. Lord, thank him tonight that the sky is not the limit when it comes to you being an eagle flying in the heavens and accomplishing all that God has called you to accomplish. Now let's praise him that he's heard us. Father, we praise you. We have prayed and you said that when we cry out unto you, you will hear and you will answer. And Father, as we go from tonight and we even continue to pray, especially for the next three months, God, we pray for our upcoming election. Father, that there will be righteousness in the voting, that there will be righteousness that will rise. God, that those you said in your word that you set some up, and you set some down. God, we ask that the ungodly will be set down and that the godly will rise. And God, we declare that we will rejoice when the righteous rule. Father, the people only groan when the ungodly rule. And God, we pray that this upcoming election will be protected by your mighty power and that you will reveal who you want to be set in these seats. God, it will be your choice, and we declare it in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, amen. You know what? Amen means let it be so. I charge you to go forth from here and to be a mighty warrior of prayer, that God will push through this victory that he has prophesied was going to come. Amen? Amen. Amen. God bless you, you mighty soaring eagles of God. Bless you.